So my backyard foundry is starting to come together. I have most of the major components. I have my furnace that I built, uh, the burner. I have a real crucible with plenty of ingots. If you watch my videos, you see that I built my lifting tongs. But there is one more tool that I need and then I can actually start casting and that is the pouring shank. So stay tuned. Maybe some of you recognize this tool. If not, it's what is called a fire log grabber or firewood grabber. And it's made to pick up logs or small pieces of firewood. Uh, this one's broken. Uh, the handle the handle is busted. Uh, and I think I can make this into a really nice pouring shank. Uh, my plan is to take these two bottom fingers and reform them into a ring that would uh, the crucible would sit in and then this top finger or jaw would come down and, cl and clamp down on the top of the crucible so that I can safely pour my molten metal out and not worry about the crucible falling out of this. I think this would uh, make a really, really nice pouring shank. So let's get started. So I uh, took some time and I bent the lower fingers into this round ring and the crucible fits in there. It, it doesn't fit in there perfectly, but it does hold it nicely. Uh, but I am finding it a bit of a challenge to try and get to figure out how this this articulated finger should work. Uh, normally it would mount over here but that's too close uh, so I would have to move it back and up higher. I, I don't know how I, I would run the wire in the handle uh, so this trigger would activate it because if right now there's a slot here and then the wire would go through the tube and come out here and there's plenty of room for the bottom part of this finger to fit in and move so if I move it up here I'm running into a challenge of a uh, different height and how to run the wire I'm thinking that either I cut these off and somehow extend them out further so I can still keep this part of the piece because I know this works or you know do I just scrap this and just literally start from scratch alright I think I uh, decided that I'm gonna try to salvage this I really I mean I really like this this setup as you as I told you um, and I'm gonna try and salvage this setup here uh, and I'm going to cut this ring off and f once I do that I'll figure out how to extend this area out so it doesn't affect the finger movement, reform a new ring and weld it up. So first order of business is to cut these off. Alright well now I have these uh, old fingers cut off. So the next order of business is extending this bottom part. What I'm going to do is I have this length of square tubing. I think I'll cut off about this much. I'll weld it to the bottom of this. So now it's extended. I have this bar stock um, and I'll bend this into a ring that the, that the crucible will fit in. Well, that, that was a lot harder than I thought. This is 3 eighths, 3 eighths inch round stock. And I didn't think I was going to be able to bend it in that little device that I had. 
it fits their crucible nicely. Uh, it's hard to do this with one hand, but it's in there. What I'm going to do is cut it off here and weld the pipe in like that. Uh, not the pipe, the uh, square bar. So here's where I'm at. After bending this round bar stock to fit the circumference of the crucible, I adjusted uh, these ends so it would hug this tube stock. Hold on, I'll get a close-up so you guys can, can see. So here, when you lift it up, it, I can get the uh, ring closer to the crucible because this follows the contour. This taper follows the taper of the of the crucible. Um, this is where the ring is hugging the, the crucible. I have this bar. Uh, I leveled it by eye and this vise is holding it in place. So what I'm going to do is fire up the welder, do a couple of tack welds here and see how it holds up. I'm going to make this part a bit longer. I was just planning to cut it and weld it on this part here, but since I'm not 100% confident in my welding skills, I thought it would be best if I gave myself some extra room and it will be welded here and then along this seam and that's just for added safety. I'm using a hose clamp to keep these two pieces together nice and tight and in place so I can tack weld them. I uh, finished her up. I figured out the uh, trigger mechanism. Alright, well the way this works is pull the crucible out of the furnace using my lifting tongs, place it in the pouring shank, now watch the finger, I'm pulling the trigger, see how I clamp down on the crucible, holding it in place, then I can lift it, move it around, and then most importantly, I can pour out the molten aluminum. Well, there you have it. That's my pouring shank. I am one step closer to casting aluminum. That's the next project.